Welcome to Daily Prayer, St. John's Church, Princess Street. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My name is Grace Durham. I'm a member of the congregation of St. John's and welcome you to this daily prayer. Let us worship with the words from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You're my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, O God, from the land of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the first reading is from Isaiah. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt and you raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. If you refrain from trampling the Sabbath, from pursuing your own interest on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable, if you honor it, not go in your own ways, serving your own interest or pursuing your own affairs, then you shall take delight in the Lord and will make your, you ride upon the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of your ancestor Jacob from the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A Song of Pilgrimage from Ecclesiastes. Before I ventured forth, even while I was, a, I was very young, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. In the four courts of the temple, I asked for her and I will seek her to the end. From first blossom to early fruit, she has been a delight of my heart. My foot has kept firmly to the true path. Diligently from my youth have I pursued her. I inclined my ear a little and received her. I found for myself much wisdom and became adept in her. To the one who gives me wisdom, Will I give glory, while her, I have resolved to live according to her way? From the beginning I gained courage from her, therefore I will not be forsaken. In my inmost being I have been stirred to seek her, therefore have I gained a good possession. And my reward, the Almighty has given me the gift of, of language and it will, with it I offer praise to God. Glory to the most holy and undivided Trinity, 
one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Hebrews. You have not come to something that can be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose word made the hearers beg that not another word be spoken to them, for they could not endure the order that was given. If ever an animal touches the mountain, it shall be stoned to death. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and so innumerable angels in festal gathering, and so the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blend blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse the one who is speaking, for if they did not escape when they refused the one who warned them on earth, how much less well we escape if we reject the one who wants from heaven. At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of what is shaken, that is, created things, to that which can, cannot be shaken, may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe. For indeed, our God is a consuming fire. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Song of Hannah from 1 Samuel. My heart exults in you, O God. My triumph song is lifted to you. My mouth derides my enemies, for I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like you, nor any rock to be compared to you, our God. Do not heap up prideful words or speak in arrogance. Only God is knowing and weighs all actions. The bowels of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed in strength. Those once full now labor for bread. Those who hungered now are well fed. The childless woman has borne sevenfold, while the mother of many is forlorn. forlorn. God destroys and brings to life, casts down and raises up, gives wealth or takes it away, humbles and dignifies. God raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with the rulers and inherit a place of honor. For the pillars of the earth are God's on, on which the whole earth is founded. Glory to the most holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and your, let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep the nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth 
your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope for the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray for peace and justice throughout the world, in the Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria, the Holy Land, all places of strife and conflict. Let us also bring before God those moments in our past when we violated God's will for our lives, when we hurt one another and violated life in its diversity, and when ignored the beauty that God created us to be. Let us confess our sins. Be at peace. God forgives. Amen. Let us now pray in the way our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>